it's best to initiate a wean or taper of whether it's methadone or suboxone. Uh, some people do stay on it for the rest of their life, but I think it's best to try to wean slowly. Um, the rule of thumb is 10% per week. And the final 10% can be very difficult, whether it's methadone or suboxone. And those are the cases where some people do stay on low-dose lifetime therapy. But this is the best way to treat the short-term, okay? This is just the short-term solution uh, to get onto opioid replacement therapy, suboxone and methadone. The longer-term treatment, though, is to engage in lifestyle changes. And this is best learned in a rehab, in my opinion. This, rehab's not for everybody, um, but it's certainly worth a shot for somebody who's never been before. The idea is that it gets them out of their normal life routine and they can abstain from taking their drug of choice, start on the opioid replacement therapy, and ha now their mind is open and start learning the behavioral changes needed to have uh, to enhance the chances of a positive enduring lifelong recovery. So these are the things that are learned in recovery uh, in rehabs. 12-step um, programs are, can be helpful as well. There's other types of peer help groups out there. And the idea though in the, in the rehab is to live their life go through stresses like everybody does throughout life, but at least they're buffered from major stresses. They're not, uh, they're not uh, brought into um, situations where they can use again. Ideally, the rehab would be drug-free. That's the idea. And, um, and to go through um, this as a stable way of living their life and being able to manage with stress and coping through life stresses without relying on the crutch, which is their drug of choice. That's the, the best benefit of rehab is to learn new coping mechanisms and it is said that 85% of recovery is really learning the behavioral changes like, that, like I just said in rehabs and the other 15% is abstaining. Finally, it's, um, some people are not cut out for rehab or they're just totally against the idea of going and in this situation they could just continue on opioid replacement therapy indefinitely. Um, the, the other options for them though is to do outpatient rehab so they're going in the daytime and going home at night that's certainly a possibility and there's nothing wrong with engaging in a 12-step program on their own um, but to increase the chances of an enduring recovery I would highly suggest that they do get involved with some sort of rehab facility in some way shape or form. So to summarize the treatment for opioid use disorder is complicated yet is simple. Um, in the short term it's uh, to get onto the opioid replacement therapy whether it's methadone or suboxone to stabilize them so they're not going through withdrawals, withdrawal and then the next step is to engage in a program of life-changing uh, stress management uh, ways of changing their lifestyle that's taught in rehabs um, they're the best at doing this to, to start with that other 85 percent of life other 85% of their recovery so that this can in introduce new skills, new tools to, to be able to cope with life stresses and have an enduring recovery.